All right, let's find the centroid of this shaded area. And, and some of the mechanics and materials will be, will be needing to find the centroid of the cross-sectional area. If it's a T-beam like this, or a, an I-beam, a U-beam, uh, some of those might be helpful to find the centroid. So let's find the centroid. Where is the center of this T uh, shape right here? Well, uh, the X location would be summation of X tilde A over summation of A, the Y location of the centroid would be summation of y tilde a over summation of a. Uh, this one, the axes are given to us. Many times axes aren't given, and so, so you can choose your own axes. Sometimes it might be helpful to, to define your axes like y goes through the middle and x goes through here. Uh, just be sure that you're when you're giving me the centroid, tell me I'm measuring from the bottom. I'm measuring from the left, you know. Uh, so anyway, but but if if the axes are already drawn on there for you, then then great. Let's measure them from these axes. All right. Uh, this one I can break up into two shapes. Uh, this pink rectangle right here, and this blue rectangle right here. So I can do um, the x tilde of, of the pink one times the area of the pink one plus x tilde of the blue one times the area of the blue one divided by the area total. Uh, now, here, I'll show you how I'm going to organize my problems. Um, and the more shapes you have, the more important it is to really make this organization uh, happen. But this is just a way so I can um, organize my math. I'm just going to, to, to um, break it up into sections. So section one and section two. And then I'm going to need to find each one's area, each one's x tilde, and then I'm going to multiply the x tilde a together, find the y tilde, multiply the y tilde a together, and it's these three columns that I'm going to sum, right? I'm going to sum those three columns, and then, then I'll, I'll, I'll come in and take that divided by that, that divided by that. So this, you don't have to... Uh, but you can really organize your problem nicely this way if you just uh, look at each section, find its area, x tilde, multiply them together, y tilde, multiply them together. Uh, all right, so you'll see how I do this. All right, so section number one, what is its area? It is 2 by 6, right? It is 12. What is its centroid location? Well, here, here's the centroid. Uh, Look at these axes and tell me where its centroid is. Its centroid would be right here at 3, and its y would be, do not, do not, all right, I'm about to write this down, but this is not uh, the correct answer. Don't tell me that its y is 1. Uh, yeah, it's 1 from here, but it is, we need to measure these from the origin. Uh, it is 6. Right, it is really 6 right here. Now, when I multiply 3 times 12, right, I got 36. When I multiply 6 times 12, I've got 72. All right, so I did that shape. Shape number 2, the blue uh, rectangle. Its area, uh, base times height, is 10. It's Where is its centroid? Right in the middle. Uh, so that would be at 3. And this one, this one, yes, would be 2.5 because that's already measured from the origin. This would be 30. This would be 25. And so these three columns are the ones that I'm adding up together. Both of their areas together, 12 plus 10 would be 22. This would be 66. This would be 97. So the X bar is x tilde a over summation of a, so 66 over 22, it'd be 3. y bar, summation of y tilde a over summation of a, 97 over 22, 4.41. Right, so this would be x bar, y bar is 3, 4.41, units are inches. So so you see how that this little chart, this table can really organize your thoughts and your problems, but you're still this is what you're doing, right? You're sum, summing x tilde a over summation of a, you're summing y tilde a over summation of a.
and see if this makes sense. Okay, so does it make sense that the centroid is at three comma four point four one? Three comma four point four one. So three would be right down the middle here, uh, and four point four one. If this is five inches, uh, yeah, 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 it'd be right up there. I think that makes sense that the centroid of both shapes together would be right up there. Now, you could have just told me that it is symmetric, and so I can tell by looking at it that the x, the location of the x centroid is just going to be at 3. If something is symmetric left and right, its centroid would be down the middle. If something is symmetric up and down, its centroid would be right at the middle. Uh, so I didn't see that to begin with, maybe. Um, or I just wanted to double check, uh, the math will tell you that the centroid is at the middle, but if you notice that something is symmetric, I don't mind if you take a shortcut and go ahead and tell me, hey, the centroid is at three, I, I only have to calculate y, tilde, uh, y bar, right? I only have to calculate y bar, okay? Don't mind if you do that, all right? 